In this demonstration, we're going to pick up where we left off with the theory in our corresponding uh, tutorial. We're going to show you how to log into the administration console, check your license, and import your newest license, show you how to set up for remote support, how to configure SSL certificates if you're using secure content, and how to log into the support portal and open up tickets, get the latest software updates for your appliance. In this module, we're going to skip past the network configuration wizard because it's covered in the theory component and it's uh, very self-explanatory. To log into Administration Console for the first time, point your browser to HTTP GSA hostname port 8000 and enter in the credentials for the main administrator account. This is admin and whatever password you entered into the network configuration wizard. Then click login. On Admin Console's main home page, you can click System OK to view the various hardware conditions for the box. You can return to the home page and check to whether the crawler is running or not. Often when you first get the box it may be paused. If that's the case, just click Resume Crawl. To view the version of your appliance's software, go to About. Here you find the version of your software along with your appliance ID which you can use to submit support tickets and identify your appliance. To install your new permanent license, go to Administration License. Here you see your temporary pre-installed license. Click Choose File, select your file, and then click View. This will allow you to verify that it's a valid license for this GSA. When it's a valid license, you can choose to install it or install it later. To view your current SSL certificate or install a new one, go to Administration SSL Setup. Here you'll see your current SSL certificate that's installed. You can define a self-signed certificate or you can upload a CA signed certificate. Then below that you can specify whether to use SSL encryption for public and secure searches and whether to use certificates when crawling your repositories. In this case we're going to force SSL encryption for all searches using a self-signed certificate and see what happens. Go to your appliances search page on port 80, enter in a search term and notice that you're challenged because this is a self-signed certificate. Since challenges don't make for a pleasant user experience and they're less secure with a self-signed certificate, let's use a CA signed certificate. Before we do this, let's view the certificates. Here's the certificate file on the left and the key file on the right. Notice that they're both unencrypted and URL encoded. The certificate uses an intermediate SSL certificate, so you have to concatenate those before you upload the single CRT file. To install the certificate, return to the SSL setup page and choose your CRT and key files. Then select View Certificate to verify it's correct and choose Install Certificate. You should receive a successful installation message in at the top in green text. And then when users run searches, they will not be prompted to verify that this is a valid certificate because it's already CA signed and the browser recognizes it. Here you'll notice that the HTTPS protocol was switched to and you can find the certificate information from the browser. Remember, it is strongly recommended that you set up remote support before you have issues so that when you do have issues you won't have any delays getting help from Google. To do this go to Administration Remote Support. Here you can configure SSH Remote Shell Login or Support Call. In this case I've enabled SSH Remote Shell Login. If you do this make sure you open port 22 for inbound traffic from Google Support. Test the configuration with Remote Shell Login and then shut down port 22. That way when you have an issue, you can just open the port. To set up the support call service, first open your firewall port on 443 for outbound traffic to Google support. Then click test to test a call to make sure you have connectivity. 
When you have an issue, you can click Initiate Call. This will open up a channel to Google Support. Capture this information here and put this into your support ticket and then contact Google Support. When finished, close the connection for the support call and refresh the status. You have several options for allowing Google Support to access your appliance when you need help. To decide which option is best for you, go to the documentation at code.google.com and under Remote Support Guidelines, you'll see the five options that you have. We only discuss two of the more popular ones here. Finally, let's log into Support Portal so you can open up tickets with Google and get the latest software updates for your clients. From the main page, you can click My Account. And there you can create new contacts in your organization. These are people that can also log into Support Portal and open and view support tickets. To manage support tickets, go to Cases, and here you'll see a list of your tickets that you've created. To create a new ticket, click Create Ticket, then specify the product name. This will usually be the asset or resource that specifically you're asking for help with, like your appliance ID. Then go to the group information. Here you specify either technical or non-technical support. Under component, you can choose such things as crawling and indexing or serving. And then the subcomponent, and then the priority, which is very important. P1 priority status is only for production servers that are down, and therefore people are not getting search results. The next thing is the software version, and then specify the remote support access method, whether it's remote SSH or support call, and the details for that remote connection, such as the URL that support can access your appliance at. Then enter the subject and the details and the steps to reproduce the problem. And finally, under Resources, you can locate your software updates for both the search appliance and for the connectors. In my case, I have a lot of resources, a lot of products. Yours would typically show right up at the top. And under the Software Updates page, you'll see the most current versions at the top of the list, which uh, version software you can update to and which one from, and the instructions and the release notes. This completes our demonstration of initial setup. Your search appliance should now be network configured and ready to start crawling and serving content. So please go on to the next tutorial.